Hey guys, it's Shelby, otherwise known as Shelby Zill here on YouTube. Today, we're making a different type of video. So as always, when I make videos that are kind of out on a limb, specifically for me, I ask you if you want to see more of these, if you like this, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget, you don't have to do it right now, but I would appreciate it if you do it, if you do like it by the end of this video. So I've actually already filmed a meal prep video um, for this purpose. This is my third time. I will tell you, one, my fridge uh, has gone out twice. Two, filming like cooking videos is so difficult. Now, if you don't know, for the month of June, I am doing something called a no buy or a no spend challenge because whenever I moved into this new home, I started spending way too much money on things that I didn't need. So I was obviously allowed to pay my bills and buy food, but I wasn't allowed to buy anything that I didn't need. Now we are in the last week of the no spend, no buy challenge, and I think that I need a little bit more of a challenge. So basically what I did is I looked in my pantry, I saw what I had that is, you know, my typical zero waste stuff that's left over that doesn't have a plan, and I'm doing something called pantry meals because that means that the last week of June, I don't have to spend any money even on groceries. So I'm trying to bring the no buy, no spend into my eating and we're gonna be making a couple meals here today and we'll get into that in just a second. But first, I wanted to thank the sponsor of today's video which is Compassion and World Farming. I really love working with them. It is completely free for you guys to do. They're just trying to get more people to sign up for their change maker campaign. So a lot of you watching this might already know that you should eat plants. It's more friendly to our earth and obviously to sentient innocent animals to eat plant-based but the change maker campaign is to help you communicate why the ethics and sustainability etc of a plant-based diet is important so they're trying to help you communicate with your friends and family more so that we can get more people eating more plants and not eating so many of our friends, right? So I'm going to be meal prepping today and then tonight when my sister gets home, I'm gonna have her try some of this all vegan food and we'll see what she thinks about it. If you wanna sign up to get a free Change Makers Handbook from Compassion and World Farming, there's a link at the very top of the description. It is completely free. It's just resources for you to be a better communicator about plant-based eating as well as recipes and other cool tips and tricks and information that you can get just for signing up. So. Like I said, it's completely free. My sponsors that are free, I always appreciate when you guys support them. And let's get into this zero waste meal prep situation going on in front of me. <laughs> Cooking food from home and meal prepping is super essential to, I think, maintaining a zero waste lifestyle. Otherwise, you're gonna be eating out all the time. And that was the case before I lived in this house. I actually completely lost the love of meal prep until I moved back here and I'm back here until I moved into this house and now I am just obsessed with it. So first things first you wanna do whenever you're starting to meal prep is put your longest thing that's going to take the longest in first. I'm not entirely sure where this came from or when I bought it, but it's sitting in my pantry and needs to get cooked. So we're gonna add it to the side and inside the quesadillas. So we need to get this boiling and I also need to get my black beans soaking. If you can find beans in bulk, this is better than buying them in a can because there's no packaging at all, right? So I'm gonna get these guys soaking and those are our first steps. Alrighty guys, so bear with me today. I kind of lost my voice, recently got sick. I'll link my video for zero waste remedies for when you're sick in the top of this video in the little cards and in the description if you want to check that out. But I did want to walk you through this cooking video today with just letting you know what I was doing and why. You're really supposed to soak your dried beans overnight, so prep them the night before you're going to be cooking. That's ideal. That's the first thing you want to do because it takes the most amount of time. Then after that, I prepared the rice because like I said, that would take the most amount of time today. So I just put all the contents that were in that box into the thing and got that boiling. You know, I used to not understand why people wanted to meal prep because I feel like fresh made food is just so much better. And I totally agree with that. But when you realize how much time can be saved doing this and how much easier it is to reduce your waste when you have food that you can already eat that is not packaged, it really helps reduce your waste and your grocery bill overall. Also, always keep a little bucket for compost. This guy stays in my freezer, so I'm just putting the guts of my bell pepper into there. I also wanted to mention that these peppers are from our little busy baby garden in our backyard. It's not much. We have three pepper plants and a cucumber plant, and we're sprouting some more cucumbers as we speak. 
I feel the growing season, it's a little late to plant them, but we're still gonna try. So keeping in mind that this video is focused on pantry meals so that you don't have to buy anything, I used peppers from my garden, which need to be cooked. I used an onion because we always have so many onions here. And then I used the corn because it was already in my pantry. So you don't have to choose these vegetables, just use whatever you have in your pantry that you think would be good in like a Spanish dish, uh, which pretty much requires onions. But cutting onions, I forget how freaking horrible it is. I mean, I was trying so hard not to just let the tears flow. <laughs> When all your veggies are chopped up, you're going to want to spice them up. So I just use cumin and cayenne, two spices that are basically always in my home. And then I added salt and pepper and mix it all up really, really good. This is such a simple meal, but yet it's got a lot of good veggies in it. And when your veggies are ready, you can then wait for the rice to finish and then get to stuffing your quesadillas. Like I said, these tortillas were from my Imperfect Produce box, so they're the type of tortillas that would have been thrown away if they weren't put in the Imperfect Produce box. So these did come in plastic, but tip for people who want tortillas without plastic and don't want to make them yourself, just go to your local like Spanish restaurant and ask them if they can just give them to you in either a paper bag or you can bring your own bag or something like that. Pro tip there. For the first couple quesadillas, I didn't put any cheese on them, but we had some leftover go veggie cheese from when we threw a party a couple weeks ago, and it was going bad. So I put them on the other ones because Madison would prefer it to be on there rather than not. Other than that, you just pop them in the oven and wait for them to be done. So we got that good stuff in the oven, and basically I'm going to roast the rest of these vegetables. I didn't intend to have this much left, but since I do, I'm just gonna roast it and then mix it up with the leftover rice, and that will be the side dishes for us this week. This is one of the only zero waste kitchen gadgets I highly recommend. You put oil in this guy and then you pump it yourself and it becomes an aerosol, so you don't have to go through like aerosol cans of oil. I've never really talked about it before, but it's one of the things I use in my kitchen all the time. And if you're going through aerosol sprayers, then I highly recommend getting one of these. It's super clutch. So then I just put these veggies in with the quesadillas to roast them as well for a side. The pasta we're making is literally the easiest thing ever. I got it from Madeline Olivia. I'm gonna link her channel below, but let's just get to putting all the ingredients together because that's really all you have to do. Now, I doubt I need to tell you how to make pasta. I hope at this point <laughs> in your life, you know how to boil some water and to put some pasta in, but this is a very common occurrence at my house. Pasta has become somewhat of an art because we love it so much. So just get to boiling your pasta and then you can start prepping the veggies for this meal. So I've heard that if you just hold asparagus at a certain point and you break it, it will naturally break off where you need the bottoms to come off at. I'm not sure if that's true, but that's what I do. And then I just compost the bottoms. You can also save them for veggie stock. It's a really great tip. And then I chopped up the asparagus into smaller pieces, uh, like bite-sized pieces to put into the pasta. To add some flavor to the pasta and the asparagus, I add my two all-time favorite spices. One, garlic. I do always chop my garlic by hand. You don't have to if you don't want to, but it's just something I always do. And then you're also going to want to add some crushed red pepper. Those are my two favorite spices, and it's pretty well known in my house that if I'm making a veggie for you, it's going to have those two spices in it. Or uh, is garlic a spice? I don't know. prepared we're just waiting for my sister to come home I just texted her and asked her if she is coming home because I need her to be my guinea pig and she said she'll be here soon stopping at Chipotle first so I guess she'll just be trying it she won't be using it as a meal unless she really likes it and in that case she can eat it for dinner tomorrow because this is meal prepping but I'm gonna go ahead and start putting stuff in containers 
What I really like is these containers that are compartmentalized. I know they're not everybody's favorite. Madison says she prefers for it just to be one big bowl, but this I really like to separate like the roasted vegetables from the rice and stuff like that. So I'll link these below if you are in the need for some glass uh, sectioned off Tupperware. Everything is plated. I'm just gonna start cleaning up, waiting for my sister to get here. She should be here any minute. So we can get a person who is not plant-based opinion on plant-based food. That's kind of the whole reason I make videos like this to inspire more people to eat plant-based because I don't think it's talked about enough in terms of sustainability. And since I'm partnering with Compassion and World Farming, they have an awesome new campaign like I was telling you guys. For people like you who want to be change makers and convince people to eat more plant-based, don't forget the link to join their campaign is at the very top of the description. Completely free to sign up just for a bunch of awesome resources. So any minute now, she'll be coming through the door and I'll be back. Are you ready? I got you on camera saying whatever it is that smells decent. <laughs> okay guys, so like I said, everything is prepped, everything is put up. This is my sister. You might remember her from my Zero Waste Transformation series. She's also probably made a few other guest appearances throughout time. And I tried to be a bit mysterious about it, like maybe a month ago and said I had a tenant or a roommate and I didn't tell you who it was, but so many of you already caught on. So it's Brittany, my sister. Anyway, so today since we're working with Compassion and World Farming, we're getting a non-plant-based person to try some plant-based foods. She's gonna give us her honest opinion. All of it? You just gotta try all of it. That's a veggie quesadilla. Just veggies and rice and beans. You can put salsa on it if you want. I got it here in case you need it. Mm. I mean, I'm a Mexican food person, so this isn't bad. This is just veggie, right? There's no other, like, substitute meat products? Nope. Just vegetables. Good, good, good. Sweet! That's a good one. Now, this one I'm a little worried about. This is a... Do you know what tahini is? Tahini is, like, very popular in the plant-based world. Uh, basically, sesame seed paste. But it's, like, very high in protein. It's really good for you if you're plant-based. So that's a tahini pasta with asparagus um, and red pepper. It smells good. It smells like your broccoli. Tastes like your broccoli too. Is it good though? Oh. Is it spicy? Yeah. Yeah, I make a lot of food really spicy because I like spicy. I don't like asparagus. You don't like asparagus? What vegetable could you put in here that way you would like? She only eats the tree head of a broccoli, so you can't put broccoli. Do you like zucchini? I think that would be weird in there. I'd eat this if you made it for me. The pasta? Mm-hmm. Really? Well, there you have it, guys. You already know a lot about why plant-based eating is important. As a matter of fact, she got Chipotle on her way home, and her Chipotle bowl that she eats at least every week is vegan, right? You don't put cheese on it. She doesn't put me or anything on it. So you already know the importance of plant-based eating in terms of like the planet and all that kind of stuff. Me? Mm -hmm. I'm working with an organization on this video called Compassion and World Farming and they're basically just doing this campaign where they're trying to get information out there to people to educate more people on why plant-based eating is important because it's a lot more sustainable and obviously more ethical to eat plants instead of animals. Yeah. I don't know if I can transition everything. It would definitely have to be a slow process. But Compassion and World Farming, their goal is not to get everybody to be vegan per se, just to incorporate more plant-based meals. And then also to talk to people about why it's important. Because obviously like more people doing a little bit or what they can or making changes is better than like you not even trying. Like Meatless Mondays? Yeah. What's today? Tuesday? Meatless Tuesdays with your children. This thing weighs like a baby. Mm -hmm. 
All right, guys, well, Brittany cleared her plate. Thank you guys so much for watching. But don't forget to check out Compassion and World Farming. Again, free resources, free to sign up. All they want to do is give more information out there to people like you and me so that we can educate more people who are not already plant-based. So remember, until next time, you cannot do all the good that the world needs. Oh, but the world needs all the good that you can do. Thanks, guys.